if we had some visionary business leaders, do you think that we could restore some of the, the trust in the institution of business in this country? Yeah, and I, yes, the short answer is yes. But when is the last time a general gave a short answer? Right? So. <laughs> no, I, I do, I, and I see it. It's out there. Um, you know, just like the military, um, you know, a, we go through our scandals, and the, the, when you go through a scandal or a crisis, you have to both triage and correct the immediate problem, but then there's always an opportunity there. I mean, in every crisis, there is an opportunity. You have to see it, you have to take advantage of it, and you have to change the organization. And we, and we you know, look, as recently as the, you know, five or six years ago, we went through a series of, of crises. And what we realized was we'd become so overwhelmingly engaged in the conflict against, you know, in Iraq and Afghanistan and now extended, that we'd stopped you know, we'd stopped emphasizing our ethos. We'd stopped talking about being professionals. We'd stopped sending young men and women back for continuing education so they could kind of, you know, remember and rekindle what it means to be in the military. We, and, you know, we saw that. And we had the crisis. We had to fix the immediate problem. But we also said, OK, maybe from this crisis we can learn. And we did. I think that's happening in the business world. I, by the way, I think that you all, I'm in, I live in Raleigh now, so that's the way I talk. I think you all will, um, I think it's going to be a really exciting time to be leading in business. Because for, for both the reason that the dean suggested, which is to say, I think there's a, a general recognition that it's not any longer just good enough to increase the, you know, the top line or, or avoid the bottom line. I, I really do. I think. Every place I go, leaders are more, in every walk of life, are more interested in, in what it means to develop young men and women of character and leaders of consequence, some better than others. I also think, as the dean and I were just talking in his office, I think there's, there's a, a, a change afoot in the country where business is, have, is having a greater influence on social responsibility than ever before. You know, take a look at all of the reaction to um, the HB2, HB2 law and some of the pressures being brought on local government. Some of which are, you know, by the way, it's, some would argue that's a bit of a process foul in our system of government. You know, that for example, the NCAA would, a sporting association would roll in on top of a state and, uh, and try to influence it. But that's the world we're living in, I think. Meaning, I think more and more influencers, different influencers, will try to uh, put pressure, especially when government fails.